when you're sculpting um, on a body, let's say Miles Frost, who plays Michael Jackson in the musical MJ that you did the lighting for, how did you approach lighting Miles Frost? Ton of research about Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. Because Michael Jackson was a manipulator of light in a really, really interesting way. And as we tell in our musical, actually, he was influenced by Fred Astaire, Bob Fosse, and the Nicholas Brothers would count also, I think, in this, and so many other people. When you think about Michael Jackson, very often he's in that white shirt with a fan lifting his shirt up and a lot of lights or the smoke that would come up as he you know, entered the stage. If I, um, oh my God, they'll kill me on your TV show, but if I move this light that I have here, I can completely flatten myself out. <laughs> or I could go into silhouette, uh -huh. but not completely, but um, sorry, you guys, <laughs> very sorry. <laughs> I love so the with, example. With Michael Jackson, I treated him, of course, with Chris Wielden in many, many different ways, because just the silhouette of his body alone is something iconic. So there are many scenes where we just so, show a silhouette of him. Uh -huh. There are many scenes where we might just light one side of him in order to get a better sort of sculpted view of him. So I trying to sort of bring out the iconic um moments. Did I ruin the lighting? <laughs> I don't think so, but I okay. love the demonstration. You mentioned Christopher Wielden, who directed and choreographed MJ. She, he also directed and choreographed An American in Paris, which you also lit. Uh, what were your discussions like with Chris Wielden, or Christopher Wielden, uh, at the start of MJ? Chris and I met on Sweet Smell of Success mm -hmm. through Bob Crowley and Nick Heitner and Chris was the um, choreographer, and we've done a number of narrative ballets together since then, and a number of abstract ballets together. Um, so we have a vocabulary of those two worlds, let's call it that. So our initial conversations about MJ really had to do with his music more than anything else, and mm -hmm. the kind of movement of his body so it may sound like, what does that have to do with lighting? But very often for me as a lighting designer, that kind of, when you get the history of what the director is trying to do from a storytelling point of view, that later on informs what the lighting ends up doing. But so Chris, uh, Chris at the beginning, Derek McLean is the set designer. The process really, really starts with, in this particular case, with Chris and the set designer. And once the set design starts to form, then I start to really become a part of the conversation. And there's a very strong visual um, idea that Chris has that we're in a rehearsal room in 1992. And part of it is flashbacks that Michael Jackson has. So it all sort of comes out of this rehearsal room. So in a conversation with a lighting designer, it would be, what does this rehearsal room look like? We have huge windows on both sides that Derek designed. So time of day was important. Light coming through these enormous windows. So Chris and I talk about that. And then we talk about how do we transform this into a flashback that he might have, into something that's contemporary. We flip into the victory tour at some point. So the set almost is this sort of living, feeling thing that light changes all the time.